the fourth vice president of Uganda, Paul Mwanga. Paul Mwanga is one of the men who serve Uganda in various positions as the president of Uganda, the vice president, prime minister, head of a military commission, and as ambassador in Egypt and France. He is one of the civil servants who served the state since independence. The former Vice President of Uganda, Paul Mwanga, was arrested on October 1986 together with Minister Kayera and Luanga. Paul Mwanga joined politics in 1950. and served as a member of parliament and Uganda ambassador. He also served as Obotis number two man. And he built his base that became very powerful in both the cabinet and other section of the government, including the army. Most of the cabinet ministers from the Bantu speaking tribes paid allegiance to him. He was feared and some of those who got it or get into conflict with him voluntarily flee into exile to give him time to cool down before coming back. Some of them came back when his boss, Dr. Apollo Milton Obote, had to intervene in the conflict. The former Vice President Paul Mwanga is believed to have had a personal militia commonly known as the UD Boys. Most of them are recruited from Central Uganda. When in need, or when you annoy him after a certain accident, then the UD boys will come for you. And they can put out any internal or external threats. The question is, why was the former Vice President Paul Mwanga arrested? The real reason for his arrest and that of Kayera and other ministers up to today is not clear. But many people believe that the arrest was linked to an attempt by a section of Buganda army officers and politicians 
who wanted to overthrow the government. They attempted coup. Was discovered in September when former fighters of two groups who were integrated within NRA and deployed in Kidgum, Gulu, Lira, and Tororo district. The arrest of Captain Godfrey Sereko, a former bodyguard of Captain George Kwanga, and Major Fred Kiberu, a light Mpiso, a day after the arrest of the Vice President, and Kayera. Military intelligence is believed to have carried out such an arrest swaps and pick up more people, including the Minister of Commerce, Evaristo Nyanzi, who was preparing to board a flight to Yugoslavia. The editor of the citizen newspaper was also picked up. The vice chairman of UFM, Francis Wenge, Dr. Charles Luanga, Joseph Musaka Mubiru, and Joseph Soshi Tampe. These people were all arrested. most likely in that fear that they were trying to overthrow the NRA government. We all know that the Vice President Paul Mwanga is a man with a large network in politics and person-to-person -person contact. He had built his network covering the entire country. He had his actually connections. He liberated Uganda. together with the Tanzanian government. When Tanzania responded to Uganda aggression in the Kagera silence. His relationship with different tribes in Uganda means a lot to other people. His relationship with the people in the north. Made some of the actuaries to put their trust in his hand. All the years he tried to keep in touch with various political parties. He had friends like Andrew Benedicto Adimola, the former deputy president of the Democratic Party, knowing that having too much power in itself can be dangerous. Whether you like it or not, it can begin to blind you just a little bit by bit. And at the end of the road, 
you will not be in a position to differentiate between right from wrong. You begin to act as if you are a blind man trying to lead a blind man. You stop seeing important things that constitute the real democracy. You start looking at those poor people who are dancing in front of you, who are kneeling to greet you as your property. You are being treated like a king when you are not. You are just elected leader who is supposed to serve the people who elected you. Sometimes you get blinded with the seed you sow. Not knowing that some of the seeds you sow are seedless. And when nature destroy those plants, you will have to run back to the people who produce those seeds to give you a seed to plant because you don't have a reserve seed at home. You have been depending on seedless banana, a seedless mango, a seedless whatever you plant. It does not work. A few days ago, I had a politician addressing a rally and telling people that Uganda is his. He said, my Uganda that he owns Uganda. But the fact is, no politician or no leader own Uganda. Uganda is a country. Uganda is not your property. And this poor fellow said, I am not going to leave my Uganda to this stupid man calling some of his fellow politicians stupid. It surprised me. I was annoyed because these are the men who made it easy for him to come to power. This is the man who had been keeping him in power for a long time. And now he turns and calls them stupid. And now he turns and tells them, I'm not going to give my Uganda to these stupid people. Let me tell you something, my friend. The stupid person is you, not the person you are insulting. And if you don't realize, Uganda 
is not your property. Let's hit the road and embrace. the fruits of wisdom to empower. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe. I will be back.